all know and love or hate Elon Musk's disruptive tweets depending on if we are caught up on the right side with them. With that, I mean being long Bitcoin before he announced that Tesla has bought 1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin in February 2021, or shortly after he made a complete U-turn saying that Tesla no longer accepts Bitcoin as a payment due to its environmental impact, or when he supported the hype around Dogecoin and calling himself the Doge Father just before he said during Saturday Night Live that Dogecoin is just a hustle, which had been interpreted by viewers that Dogecoin is illicit or a fraud, resulting in a crash of Dogecoin. There have also been multiple occasions where other cryptos and stocks that he mentioned moved significantly in price. All of this happened after Elon had settled a historic case with the SEC, where he was accused of having tweeted misleading information about taking Tesla private in August 2018. As a result, he had to give up his position as chairman of Tesla. Elon and Tesla had to pay a 20 million US dollar fine each, so 40 million in total, and an oversight committee had to be installed by Tesla to assure that Elon's tweets are pre-approved to not be in violation with SEC regulations. In response, Elon has mocked the SEC after the settlement as short sellers enrichment commission and by tweeting that the fines he paid were worth it, not really demonstrating regret or a sense of wrongdoing for his actions or respect for the SEC. If this wasn't enough, there have been new incidents of potential breaches relating to his SEC settlement. When Elon twittered in July 2019 regarding solar roofs spooling up production line rapidly, hoping to manufacture 1,000 solar roofs per week by the end of this year, whereby he missed to run his tweet by the Oversight Committee for pre-approval. But worse, in May 2020, Elon twittered that in his opinion, the price of Tesla stock is too high, leading to an 8% drop in Tesla's share price. We fear that as a result of those new potential breaches, the SEC might declare the previous settlement as nil and void. And even worse, the SEC might now pursue new charges on the grounds of further market manipulation against Elon, not only for his price moves in Tesla, but for every publicly traded instrument he tweeted about, including Bitcoin and other cryptos. Cryptos are not directly regulated by the SEC, but because Elon has the ability to move the markets very significantly with his tweets, and because many market participants have been hurt seriously, it may be seen as market manipulation by the SEC. It is surely not a small incident as a minimum $365 billion in market share have been destroyed in Bitcoin alone. So there may be serious charges if it is concluded by the authorities that it was due to his actions. Historically, other people have done a lot less severe things and they have been severely sanctioned. Further, in case Elon or people around him had positions in those stocks or cryptos and gained profits or avoided losses as a result of his tweets, this might get a lot worse for him. There have been recent cases where the authorities have prosecuted people for market manipulation in cryptos. The most recent one is the arrest of John McAfee, who has been operating an alleged pump and dump scheme with cryptos. We want to underline again that we are not lawyers specialized in this field and therefore don't know if Elon's tweets will be seen as market manipulation by the authorities in the end. Nevertheless, we do have the feeling that the tide might be shifting now, whereby regulators might take a more stringent approach towards Elon and Tesla as a result of those incidents in the future. So far, they have been quite a soft touch with their approach. Further problems might catch up with Elon in regards to his approval of Tesla's investment into Bitcoin. Public sources estimate that Tesla paid around 32,500 US dollars per Bitcoin. As of early June 2021, the price of Bitcoin has declined from 60,000 by nearly 50% to 33,000 US dollars. Therefore, Bitcoin has now lost most of its gain since Tesla bought it. If Bitcoin goes down further, there will be a lot of pressure from Tesla shareholders questioning Elon's approval to buy Bitcoin. Despite the hype, Many established investors still see Bitcoin and cryptos as a fraud, and there is probably some truth to this. These things only go well if the investment is not going south. If it does, there will be personal consequences. Previously, Bitcoin has been hyped as a preserver of value during a dollar decline. 
But how can Bitcoin be a store of value if it loses 50% of its value within such a short period of time and triggered by Elon's own actions of no longer accepting it for car payments? This erratic U-turn of Elon has significantly damaged the hyped investment case of Bitcoin from which it may never recover. Many retail investors have been burned in the process. But on the other hand, it can also be seen that Elon cannot really be blamed for the crypto crash because it was, anyway, a highly speculative investment, or house of cards, which could implode in itself at any moment as the modern day tult mania. But whatever will come out of this situation, Elon's fan base will have been decimated significantly with probably millions of retail investors having incurred losses from the crypto crash. Many of them will feel deeply betrayed and disappointed by Elon's U-turns and maybe history books will one day write that this was the turning moment in history when the crypto bubble finally burst. Summarizing all of the above, there might be troubling times ahead for Elon and the highly leveraged Tesla, including some of his other endeavors. Some of them will have to hold up to the physical reality one day. What do you think? Is Michael Burry getting it right with his Tesla short? Will this lead to problems for Elon and Tesla down the road? Do you believe in the feasibility of all of his endeavors? Or does he have the power of the dark side and is untouchable? Please let us know in the comments. We will keep you updated with news and infos on that topic. Thank you very much for your views and all the very best to you.